this to be um, for Prophet Elvis. I went to his church um, and then I did my very big birthday and people assumed it was sponsored by him because they couldn't find any other man in Kampala apparently with that much money. Um, but it wasn't him. Uh, for Apostle Grace, he is only my man of God, and that's it. I pray there. I am a servant in the church. I, I do what I can. Mm. Um, if no... Okay. My name is Stella Nantumbre. I am a Christian. You said status. Mm -hmm. Single or married? I'm single. <laughs> and uh, what else? Nickname. My nickname is Ella. Ella. Mm. Where does the name Ella come from? Um, how did you... Um, uh, growing up, I always thought that Stella is the calm one. Ella is hmm, the funky one who tries new things. So since I'm acting all the time, I'm new people every time in different sets. I believe Ella works for me. Yeah, but I took on the name mostly during Big Brother. Oh, okay, mm. okay. We shall reach at the Big Brother mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if it was your turning point to become <laughs> born again. First, um, mm -hmm. um, when and where were you born? I was born in in Zambia Hospital, yeah. So Kampala born. Kampala born. Mm. Which places have you been to? Um, how like countries? From, uh, childhood. Uh, My travels. Yes. Mm, so many countries. God has been good. Um, I've been to Indonesia, of course. Uh, it's part of Miss Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, Singapore, the UAE, the UK, France. Turkey. <laughs> um, where else? Oh, Cambodia. Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Travels, Malaysia, mm -hmm. work. For work, for different experiences, and yeah, for myself as well. Oh, Nigeria and Ghana too. Nigeria. That I think will. Well, and Africa. South Africa for Big Brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, when you talk of Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, people, are, what have you gone to do in Nigeria? I acted in Nigeria. Oh. I did a movie there. A movie there. Yeah. Movie. And then I, it's called. They changed the name. We didn't get it out, but it's on my page. I don't even remember. <laughs> the movie never got out. No, I didn't see it. If it did, it didn't oh, invite it didn't. me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay, as growing as a, as a child. But I acted with uh, Bolan Le. Okay. And yeah. So you got a connection? Yes. Are you still uh, in contact with those connections? Um, in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Standard, yes. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Uh, when growing up as a child, which places did you grow from? Mm -hmm. yeah. I grew up in Makindia, so that was primarily my home. Yeah, my mother raised us in Makindia, so ndi ndi wa Makindia. Do mm. you feel like that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many are you? We are twelve, mother and father. Okay. Mm. And you? Last girl. Last girl. Mm. Meaning. I'm the last born girl, there's a boy after me. And then he closes the, the shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ella, uh, we, we look at uh, um, uh, your studying and everything. Mm -hmm. Which schools from nursery till where you graduated from did you? Nursery was Nakasari Nursery School. And then I went to Buganda Road Primary until P3. And then from Buganda Road Primary, I went to Kaboja Junior School in Kololo. And then from Kavoja, where I did my PLE, I moved to Kavoja Secondary, the international school, and then Vienna to finish because they closed it when I was in S4. And then I went to the UK to do my degree in uh, business computing at the University of Greenwich. And my master's was at HEC Paris. And that's, that's my entire education now. Yeah. Okay, when growing up around the village, how was Ella, the behavior? I mean, let's not look at uh, yeah. home, mm -hmm. uh, let's say around the village, much in the... Um, in Makindia, my mother kept us locked up because we were mostly girls in the house, so we wouldn't go out a lot, but she didn't know, but we would get out and ride bikes with the neighborhood kids. So I used to ride bicycles. I was very competitive. But yeah, one day I fell down, then I never went back. <laughs> what did the mom do? She was angry. She beat me. Yeah, I fell on my butt <laughs> and like I got a bad wound. Mm. Never went back. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then around, uh, let me say home, you mm -hmm. said you're 12? Yes. You're 12? Yeah. And you 
second last. Yes. So how was the mm, home? I was still the spoiled baby, but mm, yeah, I was just the spoiled baby. Spoiled. Mm. No, but my mom tried to like make me strong, you know, but I was still spoiled because she, I'm her, I'm her Mogalanda. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what's one thing at home that you used to do mm -hmm. that everyone did like? Okay, mm -hmm. I was. Oh, at home, like mom would be like. I was like, very. This. I was very very talkative, mm -hmm. so I would tell anyone who came our business. Okay. Yes. Anyone who visited would know what we we're going through. What we're doing. I was just. So my nickname was Pepe Lepe. I would just keep talking. Yes. <laughs> As in my mouth would just pepe pepe pepe. <laughs> so the name Pepe Pepe is my nickname at home. Yeah. Did this cost you anything? <laughs> at home? They'll beat me. <laughs> and sometimes I wasn't allowed around the visitors. Because when they came, I would immediately sit you down and start. You know, yesterday mommy went and, and she and today. I'll tell you everything. Anything she's anything anyone said, my mouth would be telling you. Mm. Then our uh, school life. <laughs> school was okay. Um, I was bullied a lot growing up because I was skinny and tall with big eyes. Um, same. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but school wasn't so bad for me. I enjoyed my school time. Yeah, but unless you want to ask me about a specific one, uni or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming into the specific one. Yeah. Uh, you you look to be one of the pretty girls. Not in high, Proud. not in prime, no. Not Primary in, school, no. Mm, mm -mm. That came out in uh, secondary? It started to come out in secondary, yeah. But primary school, the kids are very mean, so I never felt that way. Then, uh, let's talk about the secondary life. Mm -hmm. How? It was, it was easy. I was, you know, you have your little girlfriends. I had a bunch of girlfriends and, yeah, we just did life. You know, international schools. It's, the problem. it's like a movie, you know, how, well, how you see the movies. Same, same. Mm, I wasn't proud. I was shy. I was shy, but I was always a go-getter. Neither great? Mm, always good. I was even in the newspapers. I'm that good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that good. You can even find them. Yeah. Couple years. Ah. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. Leave me alone. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> assembly every time I was a prefect so yeah. mm. so you would see you would read those mm -hmm. couple of years, couple I would read years. everyone I would report I would tell them what not to do yeah okay. I was a prefect throughout my entire since P6 okay. mm. uh, when growing up what did you want to be or what did your parents want you to be um, my mother never told me that she wanted me to be anything specific but she trained us in business so that was my first introduction to work. But I knew I did not want to be in an office. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a marketing executive. Mm -hmm. uh, and also in my other dreams, I thought a ballerina, a dancer, actress maybe, but never really planned it out. Even singer, I used to think <laughs> that I could be mm, Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I used to believe in myself. I still do. Yeah. Mm. You know, you believe one th one day, one time you'll sing. I don't know. Maybe if God allows. If He gives me the grace, the song will hit. If there's no grace, we'll just sing it out. Okay. Mm. Well, what kind of genre do you think you can do? Um, soul. Soul music. Because you're born on Sat No. Like. Of course, gospel, but you know, be for God, but more so. Like, I like people to listen to the song, feel the emotions, listen to the rhythm. Yeah, I guess it's because of the era I grew up in, Boys to Men. R&B was different back then, so right. for me, I like soul because it has more of a vibe for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, your cultural identity. My cultural identity. I'm a Muganda with some Motoro blood. Both parents actually have motor moms. Wow. Mm. So I can say I'm 
Okay. Let's go into the life after mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are facing the world. Yeah, so I studied in the UK, yeah. uni. Had to work, of course. Came back home. I went to work for the UN. And then did Miss Uganda. That's like the flow of it. The flow of it. Yeah. Life at Miss Uganda, how mm. and which year did you join up? I did Miss Uganda in 2013. 2013. Mm. Yeah. I won 2013. 2014. 2014. Mm. How was life there? Uh, I, I had a hard time during my reign a little bit because they kept asking me about my accent. Speak more Muganda, speak, you know. Yeah, I speak Luganda very well. I just have different English. <laughs> but by then, I was coming back from the UK, like, fresh, so my accent was completely different. Okay. Yeah. So, um... But other than that, I enjoyed my time in the yeah, camp. Okay. Yeah. What projects did you be doing then? I did um, teenage pregnancies and HIV. So I worked with an organization called Shanti Uganda. And what we did was take them equipment to build a hospital to help women who are giving birth and teenagers as well. Um, so we just took them equipment and promoted their, they would do beading work, you know, for jewelry and bags and African products and we just help them sell. But we also did deworming projects during Miss Uganda um, and a lot of projects with Richer Hand Uganda for sexual health. Wow. Yeah, so I was a peer educator, okay. teaching kids how to. If you feel you cannot hold yourself, do this, yeah, those <laughs> things. Mm. What's the best? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Okay. So I can only tell you to abstain. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, joining Miss Uganda, you mm -hmm. after leaving Miss Uganda, mm -hmm. what next? Because uh, by that time, you're busy running up, doing projects, this yeah. and this. Yeah. You're done with Miss Uganda. Mm -hmm. so what next? I did Big Brother. That's the big brother of uh, Africa. Africa, the last big brother the Africa we had. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. hot shots. Mm. 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 How was life in the house? It was fun. Sadly, I didn't win, but it was fun. How long did you leave? I left the, the second last week. Okay. I survived five evictions. Mm. I am a legend. Mm. Yeah, so. Did you know that whatever were take, was taking place in the house was mm. being showed? Was yes, you're aware, but you don't know how people are reacting to it. Yeah. So coming out of the house, you you have to prepare yourself for hate and love and whatever comes with it. It's not very, it's very, um, because my big brother, the house burned down. So we were in lockdown for like a month and then we went into the house. It's not the same. When you come out, the world has changed. No one prepares you for that. Mm. Mm. Then the actions you guys do in the house, mm -hmm. there's a, a period when... Uh, you trended. Mm -hmm. oh, was it bathing? <laughs> yes, going for bath. Yes. And uh, everything was showing. So, okay, what were you guys doing in the bathroom with us? You have the right to turn away. Yeah. But we showered, you know, several other people. It's, it's, yeah. It is what it is. We Ugandans don't really know your name. So uh, right. Yes, Ugandans do, but I think now. Did Big Brother change anything in your life? Ah, uh, yes. It um, exposed me to so many African countries. Um, my fan base grew authentically. Um, and I think that's what it did for me. It also, I got to meet great coaches in acting, singing, whatever. They gave us lots of tips that I still use to this day. Okay. Mm. Did the actions uh, you guys did in the house mm -hmm. make an impact in a good or a wrong way? Um... I don't think so. I think everybody takes what they take because you can do a million good things and people will still find bad. And you can do so many bad things and people still clap for you. I think everyone took their own, what they wanted to take from all of us in the house. Do you regret the... Uh, I have no regrets. Same, no, no. I have no regrets. I think um, my only, if I have to say regret, is that for me I was just living my life, you know? Um, Maybe to remember it was actually a game and you have to do strategy and, you know, you that would be the only, stay. yeah, like, because I stayed, but I could have stayed, stayed, you know. Um, 
strategy matters. Yeah. Uh, if you're given a chance right now, big brother comes back and eh? you, uh -uh. would you? No. I wouldn't. Isn't that part of a regret? No. Because now I've grown and I have other things going. I have children, I have family, I can't leave them. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um when did you say that you can join acting and which movie did you I start I started with a stage play okay. called Think Like a Man, Act Like a Lady done by AMK, um, Arthur Katende. So we were showing at, at Theatre La Bonita. That's when? That was in 2015 with Uncle Mo, myself, um, who also? Matthew Nawiso, actually, was also in the movie. Um, yeah, and that's Bati Katende, Nkaka Lukanyi, several people in the industry who were great actors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when did you see it inside? How did you come in this because of passion? Because the you acting? Had, you were getting bored? No, actually, I was just called. Like, they called me and said, can you what do a people? play? Yeah, I was like, oh, huh, okay, maybe let's try. Because it was a musical and I sing, you know? So that was sort of the criteria. Everybody who acted had to sing something. So when they called me, I went. And then from actually on that stage is where I was spotted for second chance. Okay. Yeah. It was only because of Boa though, because you had made I'm not, no, brother. no, no. When you leave Big Brother, you get some money. So I wasn't bored. <laughs> and the connections are there. Yeah, I men, wasn't bored. Men are looking for you. It's not really men. It's that you have businesses and people are calling you to host events in their countries. And, you know, you travel. So most of those countries I travel to. Get After called by your friends. You did, and you felt like you can do this. Then joining the real movie industry, yeah. doing the stage plays and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, when was that? So you... right after the play, I was cast for Second Chance mm -hmm. as the lead, Isabel. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. Bella, Isabel. And then while doing Second Chance, I did the movie Bella. Yeah, that's with Cindy. Yes, with Cindy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's what we were doing. Okay. Um, but. Uh, I had I was doing them in tandem. I was new to film in that area, like uh, feature films are very different from uh, series, so I had to learn some tricks. But it worked out. I won an award from Bella. From Bella yes. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, the scene where, because uh, sometimes we see scenes you guys take part in, and we yeah. like, oh, wow. <laughs> and that scene of where you have to urinate. Or Urinate on the on side. The, on the side of the <laughs> okay, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> Just no, <gasps> no. Um, my director was Matt Bish. He has a way he does those things, you know. And and you you, he takes his cutaways, you know. We call them cutaways, and mm -hmm. he puts them together, and you guys will think something. So, yeah. You never removed. No, mind. no. I'm telling you, it wasn't you would see a thing, and then you would hear a sound. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I think it's the first movie mm. Cindy acted. Yes. How did you guys connect? How did oh, you she was um, uh, I believe she also met her husband on that set. True. Um, she was very easygoing. She would show up on time, do her role. She really committed. Mm. I was very, very inspired. Because we had very late night. You see, because the movie is centered around a prostitute and, you know, so most of the shots were nighttime. Yeah. We worked late a lot, but she was always there. She was dedicated. She's, she's a great person. Okay. Mm. Bella's life was a born again. Ah, when mm -hmm. do Jesus' voice <laughs> hit you? Like, I like how you say and ask these things. Mm. <laughs> um, I believe I've always had a calling. Like, yeah. you know, God has always been calling me. It's not like I lived my life outside him. The only time I almost left God was in the UK. Like, mm. I always say, they will have you believing there's no God. In the UK? Yeah. They don't believe in God. Mm. Yet they're sending us Bibles this side. It's not the UK sending them. Mm. Mm -mm. It's good. Mm -mm. Mm. It's not the UK sending them. But they have missions. But right now, as you speak, even though you check online, yeah. they'll tell you. Most okay. of them don't believe in God. When did the calling come in? Um, the intense calling? Because it's a journey. I can't say this day or that day. Mm. 
but different things have brought me closer to God. Okay. Mm. Um, one time we see you, people are, are connecting you to um, Pastor Elvis Mboni. Yes. Another time they are connecting you to uh, Pastor Grace. That just happens to be um, for Prophet Elvis. Mm. I went to his church. Um, and then I did my very big birthday and people assumed it was sponsored by him because they couldn't find any other man in Kampala apparently with that much money um, but it wasn't him uh, for Apostle Grace he is only my man of God and that's it I pray there I am a servant in the church I I do what I can mm. um, if no any other man had that big man to be that birthday mm -hmm. and you saying it's not prophet Elvis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then who? I don't usually say yeah it was my surprise party but it wasn't him and whoever it was I don't usually say at one time they connected you to a Nigerian <laughs> <laughs> they will connect me to a lot of people I have been connected to so many people I don't know how many people I've dated on paper but yeah, I don't usually put my relationship status out there. It's not for anybody to know. Yeah, until such a time when it's important. When it's not, I don't. Be, I don't usually. Are you ink in Christ? Mm-hmm. Mm. Am I in Christ? Ink, like you did. <laughs> Try me. Mm. Ask me. I think you can't um, gauge somebody's depth in Christ because. He works inside out, but for me, I say salvation is a journey, um, one that I'm excited to take. Is it easy? No. Changing from all the things that I was free to do before, not that now I'm not free, but I have a different kind of freedom. I'm more controlled. I know I, 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 I really watch my steps now. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, many people think it's a hideout. Me being in the gospel? Yeah. No, actually. And if it is, it's it's God hiding me from something. But I'm I'm the safest I've ever been in my life. Are uh, there wrongs you've done before you believe made you get saved? I don't think anybody goes to Christ because they've done anything wrong per se, but um have I had moments where I had to reflect and realize it's only God who truly loves me? Yes. Which moments did that make? Um, <laughs> just life. Um, I lost my sister, okay. and that was very hard for me. Um, and uh, when I did, I I realized that okay, not only her, but all my life I dream things and they happen. Oh. So yeah. I didn't know to, what to do. So when I saw I saw in a dream that she something would happen to her, and I never I didn't know how. So I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know how to attack. I didn't know how to... I knew nothing. The me now would know better how to handle such a situation for my sister, for a friend, for anybody. But still, to me, God speaks in dreams and visions. And, There's yeah. a time where tabloids came out mm. in a, at a large scale and many were like, you were pregnant. <laughs> I have a child. I have children. Three of them. Not biological. No. But in a way, they're biological, yes. But I am a mother. Yeah. Mm. Come free. From yes. <laughs> Are you going to shush your brother? I don't say, because you guys like to run with my stories. No, I do not. But I'm not married, so. Yes, there's no ring on my finger. So, so that contemplates, that would mean that I'm single. Yes, yeah. the religion you believe in right now doesn't allow communication. Yes. Communication is a sin. <laughs> God will beat you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. God will not beat you. He loves you, even with all your flaws. Um, but I think um, the new relationships I have to have now have to be purposeful. Because before I used to just love, love, love. I love him. He loves me. Yeah. Now I'm better. Do I cook? Eh? Hmm. I don't know where you are for Christmas, but you missed. <laughs> you missed. I cook very well. Mm. What's your favorite dish? Chicken.
chicken stew and beef stew. Yeah. I'm not good at pilau or any of that, but I can make the stews. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's standard. Everybody needs to know how. Mm. Are your last message to you? To who? Uh, love you um, yeah, so thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me and yeah, God bless you. Yeah. Uh, one, one last thing, Kat.